all right so if you have already decided that you would want to test your knowledge on this matter that is swap differences arising on cancellation of forward exchange contract where the bank has covered itself in the forex market how does the cancellation of a forward exchange contract take place there will be a chain of contracts there is a contract between the importer or exporter with the bank and banks contract with the other bank in the forex market so what i have done i have formulated a question which will give you comprehensive clarity on all these matters and particularly the typical doubt asked by many students about swap difference and how that swap difference results into a loss which the customer eventually has to bear so let's do one thing let us start reading out the question and most important thing that i would want to convey to you when we are reading questions we should have a tendency to interpret the lines given in the question in a rightful manner so that solving of the question becomes smooth and easy going once you are clear with what has been asked in the question solving that question is no big deal so let us move ahead and uh, deal with the question in fact i'll just read it out for you first it says uh, on 15 10 2024 x limited operating in india purchased an asset from a supplier in the us at 2 months credit now don't rush with reading the question understand each line when i read the first line in the question what i understand is the entity that is given in the case is an entity operating in india and this is an importer because it is buying an asset from the supplier in the usa now the supplier has offered 2 months credit and the date of purchase happens to be 15th october 2024 if you add 2 months credit the expected settlement will happen after 2 months that will be what 15th december 2024 and that is what conveyed over here invoice value is dollar 4 lakhs and expected date of settlement will be 15 12 2024 fine for hedging its forex exposure x limited decided to take a forward cover interbank market rates on 15 10 2024 that is on the date of invoice itself these rates were as below spot dollar 1 equals to they have given bid and ask rate and two month forward rate is also given to you now basically when you have a set of these rates point is very simple which rate is applicable for you x limited is going to be an importer because x limited is importer and has to settle the obligation by payment of 4 lakh us dollars it is obvious that it will have to buy dollars after 2 months buying dollars after 2 months now x limited is going to respond to the rates quoted by the bank bank is going to quote rates in a two way format that is bid and ask when x limited has to buy from the bank the rate applicable will be the ask rate that too don't focus on the spot rate on that date at all it is having no relevance you should focus on the two month forward rate and two month forward ask rate is given as dollar 1 equals to rupees 86.6520 now this is the two month forward ask rate but look at this line interbank market rates on 15th october 2024 were given this way that means the rates that you are reading are the interbank forward rates therefore when you have to arrive at the rate that bank will quote to x limited which is an importer and the entity in our given question you will have to adjust the margins so we will have to read in the question where there is an information about the margins given and we will adjust the margins accordingly to arrive at the rate applicable for x limited further it says on 15 12 2024 x limited did not show up for settlement now obviously the contract was entered into on 15th october 2024 and two months credit that is two months period of forward will end on 15 12 2024 which was actually the settlement date now maybe that the importer would have already discussed with the supplier that they might extend the credit or they would want some additional credit whatsoever 
but they should have approached the bank on the settlement date because it was not just the payment date it was also the settlement date for the forward contract entered two months prior now this date when it was a settlement date X limited did not show up for settlement now basically in real life situations nobody does like this okay when there is a date of settlement the importer will approach and take the suitable action but fine this generally is uh, the pattern of the question because ICAI wants to test out whether you are aware of what can be the outcome when on the settlement date the customer who could be importer or exporter whoever is not showing up for the settlement anyway so the fact is X limited did not show up on this date the interbank spot rate was again interbank spot rates have been given bid and ask on 15 12 2024 that is on the same date the bank had to swap its position through forex market because bank also has covered itself now this is the point where this swap difference originates now see let's not get you know too much bogged up with too many information let us go step by step in understanding the question I repeat one thing again that understanding the question is very very important so what we are supposed to do we are clear with one thing that bank has also covered itself so now there will be a chain of contracts for sure see 4 lakh dollar may not be always or may not be usually available with the bank right if X limited wants to buy 4 lakh US dollars that much quantity of cash bank will not carry it is obvious so to provide 4 lakh dollars to X limited bank itself will have to arrange from other banks in the forex market and that is where the bank which is a bank operating in India will arrange from a foreign bank the supply of these 4 lakh US dollars which can be eventually transferred to X limited and this doesn't happen in the cash format anyway there will be always fund transfer from account to account you know it very well now what is going to happen in case X limited is not showing up on that settlement date that is 15th December 2024 keep in mind one thing the bank has also covered itself that means there is a chain of contract one contract that X limited has with the bank in India and other contract that the bank in India has with other foreign bank in the forex market now we are talking about application of FEDAI rules FEDAI rules F E D A I stands for Foreign Exchange Dealers Association of India now these rules are designed for the dealers operating in India these rules are not for foreign banks why foreign banks would follow FEDAI rules that means FEDAI rules are asking the bank operating in India that see if your customer did not show up on the settlement date you cannot automatically outright cancel the contract you have to wait for three working days that is the rule you have to wait for three working days and customer may come up within these three days and ask for settlement of the contract ask for cancellation of contract or maybe asking for extension of the contract whatever be the customers request you need to consider that request however to arrange this whole matter in case you suffer with any loss you can recover that loss from the customer that protection is given by FEDAI rules to the dealers in India but dealers have to take some action they cannot leave it just like that anyway so the point is we have a chain of contracts contract of X limited with the bank operating in India which cannot be automatically cancelled even if the customer that is X limited did not show up on the date of settlement however what happens to the other contract that the bank operating in India which has taken a forward cover through the forex market from another bank to arrange those 4 lakh US dollars at 15th December 2024 that contract cannot stay hold that contract eventually will get cancelled out because definitely on that date on that settlement date 15th December 2024 
this bank operating in India is not going to take the delivery of 4 lakh US dollar because it is uncertain about what X Limited is going to do. In other words, it is uncertain about what its customer is going to do. So what we are supposed to do now, there will be definitely implication of cancellation of the contract that the bank in India has made with a foreign bank in the forex market. Now, what we are supposed to do now that one set of contract will get cancelled out another contract stays alive because of the FEDI rules anyway let us read the question further so understand one thing a contract that came to a dead end the date of settlement was 15th December 2024 and on that date this party X limited did not show up for settlement so actually speaking logically the contract stands for automatic cancellation logically but the FEDI rules coming into picture they are asking the bank in India or the dealers in India to wait for three working days that means a kind of you know dead contract is meant to keep alive correct a dead contract is the term I am using okay a dead contract is meant to be kept alive you will have to bear some cost for keeping that contract alive for three more days and that cost comes in the form of swap loss. So when I am explaining you what exactly swap loss and how it is determined, keep in mind one thing very clearly that it is basically a cost that the customer will have to bear for making a dead contract kept alive for three more days because of application of FEDI rules. So logically how to compute it? And how to execute the whole matter we are going to discuss in as much detail as possible but let us first complete the question reading so it says for this purpose banks sell spot dollar 4 lakh and buy one month forward at rupees 86.6960 per dollar now what bank is doing to swap its position I'm going to discuss once again in detail when we reach that point of calculation the margin applied by bank over interbank rates was 0.12 percent honestly speaking the moment i read this point in the question that these rates were interbank rates i was waiting for that particular information in the question that where the question informs this particular matter that is the margin to be applied by bank and now here it is revealed that it is 0.12 percent and because the applicable rate over here was the two month forward ask rate to ask rates we always add margin so all these concepts I have explained earlier that why we should add margin to ask rate and why we should subtract the margin from the bid rate you have learnt it already in case you haven't learned all these matters then I would advise instead of taking up test questions like this you better first go and refine all your basic concepts and then you can come back to attempting this test and interest charged by bank was 18 percent per annum now generally when there is a, a kind of delay made by the customer there may be some outlay of funds by the bank and bank will not have outlay of funds without charging interest for that purpose they have given the interest rate to be charged by bank as 18 percent per annum so for your reference what i'll do is i'll just you know place the question on screen and uh, you can take the screenshot if you want or you can pause the video and note down the question if you don't want to do all that I have anyway given the question in the description box the PDF of that question will be there you can just download the PDF and use it for your reference but anyway I'll just display this question part to you for a moment all right friends once you have taken note of this let us move ahead and read the later part of the question on 17 12 2024 that is basically after two days x limited approached the bank and requested for extension the revised settlement date shall be 15 2 2025 that is 15th february 2025 on 17 12 2024 that is the date on which x limited has approached the bank following rates were observed in the forex market the moment they say forex market these will be definitely again the interbank rates huh? so don't forget to adjust margins wherever required so spot rate was given in the bid and ask format two month forward rate is also given 
why two month forward rate is given applicable over here because the extension is happening by two months instead of 15 December 2024 the new settlement date will be 15 February 2025 the bank quotes the exchange rates to its customers in two places after decimal you are required to determine the following number one contracted forward rate for X limited on 15 12 2024 that is on the original date of entry into the contract what will be the applicable rate for X limited to book the original forward contract which we can call as the contracted forward rate now because the contract is going to be cancelled of course you know one thing that for extension you have to cancel the old contract and execute a new contract so for cancellation the approach by X limited was on 17 12 2024 so they are asking cancellation rate applicable to X limited on 17 12 2024 over here I would like to highlight one important point I told you there will be a chain of contracts contract between X limited and the bank operating in India and the other contract that is the contract between the bank operating in India with other bank in the Forex market now the contract between the bank operating in India and the other bank in the Forex market will cancel out on 15th December 2024 itself. On the other side, the contract between X Limited and the bank that is operating in India, that contract will get cancelled out on 17th December 2024. So let me just read out the remainder part of the question for your reference. Third thing that they are asking is the cancellation charges payable by X limited to bank. Number four, outlay of funds by bank on 15, 12, 2024 and interest thereon. Number five, amount of swap loss if any. Number six, total charges payable by X limited on cancellation of forward contract. And number seven, new forward contract rate applicable for extended period. Now guys, uh, please. Uh, understand one thing you can take the screenshot if you want just pause the video and note it down if you want now what I wanted to convey is something very very clear now see this is basically meant to be a test question so I have purposely not included the solution as a follow-up because I don't want you to just you know keep watching the solution because then it will make no difference how will you test yourself so you have either noted down the question or you would have downloaded the question from the link in the description box given below whatever you have done take some time solve this question keep your solution ready when i show the solution you just try to match your solution with what i have explained and in case there is a mismatch look into where you have attempted any mistake or where you have attempted things wrongly so i believe you should take up this as a test and wait for me to put up the solution video as well thank you very much for watching this video and attempting this test